This is your hero, a webcam pimp. We all know Andrew Tate is a PDF file. He snitches on himself every single day. I want a 16 year old girl, 16 year old girl, 16 year old girl. I'm a, I'm a pimp, bro. I'm a webcam. I don't mention webcam. Until- They'll go to war with feminists, but embrace an actual pimp, bro. This is how corrupted these Muslim influencers are. Okay, people, back again with another one bong kakat. And we've got news for you, okay? Everyone's favorite chinless lizard pimp is getting nabbed by police in Romania, okay? It says here by <laughs> woke lefty, best username ever, next to f- banker. F- banker sometimes is in the comments. One of the best usernames ever. And this is second. Woke Lefty. Exactly. You don't need to explain yourself. Woke Lefty. And he's from Salford too. Okay. He's from the North. The king in the, the, king in the North. Okay. Police in Romania raid Andrew Tate's home after receiving new allegations involving minors. Tate fans furiously saying it's a vendetta. Tate himself. He says he has sex with minors. I mean, yeah, if you've actually been paying attention to his content, that's all he talks about. About pimping, you know, lover boy methods, underage girls. That's all he talks about. How women are bitches. You know, this guy's got mom issues. It is what it is. Alpha male? Nah. Just another PDF file hiding in plain sight. Let's, let's take a look at this video. I don't know what to expect. Two girls have claimed Andrew Tate approached them on social media when they still attended school. The PhD course is my recruitment system. PhD is a pimp and hose degree. So the recruitment process is you message them on Instagram. I was contacted by Andrew Tate, the older of the Tate brothers, three years ago when I was just 16. Daria was 16 when she says she received a private message on Instagram two years ago from Andrew Tate's account. It read simply, Romanian girl, followed by a strawberry emoji. What do you inbox the woman? I live in Bucharest, Romania. It doesn't matter if I'm in London, Bucharest, Moscow, anywhere I am. I just say Bucharest, question mark, or Moscow, question mark, or London, question mark. Sometimes, because like I said, intrigue, I'll put a completely pointless emoji on the end. Yo, Some cherries. This, this is your heroes, yeah? This is your hero. I get a lot of hate in the comments for going at this guy. This guy is your hero. This is wild, bro. I got, I got a lot. I got a, a, intrigue, yeah? Intrigue, yeah? What's going on here? What is this? What is this, bro? I can't even, I can't brain it, okay? That's a Malaysian phrase. I can't brain this, bro. What is this? Or an orange or a strawberry. He's teaching people. Sometimes I put, I put an emoji, yeah? Sometimes I put an emoji. I put an emoji. Like orange, like a strawberry. I asked around to my other friends and my classmates were also 15, 16 at the time. And a couple of them also told me they received messages. So I messaged her, she's like, I'm only 16. I was like, give a fuck, no about me. It was- Yeah, this is it. This, this, is, this, is the, this is the kind of person that, this is the kind of person that Islamic influencers like Muhammad Hijab and Ali Da'wah. Muhammad Hijab, Ali Da'wah. This is the kind of people that you guys brought into the Muslim community, introduced into the Muslim community. This is the kind of people that, you, you know, you guys are so desperate to get, to get clout off. You get me? This Muslim influencer, this Muslim influencers, bro. This is who you brought, you introduced, you platform to the Muslim community. You don't care about the women, bro. This is the kind, this pimp, bro. And he's still doing this. Like, bro, see this tweet? Unearthed footage of Andrew Tate grooming an alleged underage girl in July this year. This year, 2024. They've got receipts from this year when he's supposed to be a Muslim. Muslim. And influencers like Muhammad Hijab call him his brother. My brother. I don't get this, bro. What's wrong with these Muslim influencers? I'm more mad at the Muslim, the Muslim influencers. Trying to normalize pimps like this to the Ummah, bro. This is the kind of people you bring to the Ummah. Amazing. It's brilliant. Okay, Muhammad Hijab. Why are you stuttering? Why, why, why are you stuttering? I was like, give a f***. Not about me. It was a pretty well-known fact that he had kind of a network of young girls. I mean, it's like, what the f*** would I read for you? You've got a fit sister who's 16. Bro, the receipts is right there. He's snitching on himself every single day. 
Don't ask me like, what did he, what did he ever do wrong? What did he ever do wrong? There is he, he, we're not the ones, you know, coming up with the receipts. He's the one handing out the receipts, bro. He's a snitch. He's a self snitching webcam pimp. How do you defend this guy, this guy, bro? You got to have some kind of extreme advanced form of brain rot to defend this guy. Okay, what did he ever do wrong? I mean, he, he wants to be a Muslim. He wants to learn about Islam. Get the fuck out of there. Get out of here. Like, are you dumb, bro? Are you dumb, bro? You're dumb as hell. What is this? This guy is a snitch. This is your hero. A webcam pimp who preys on 16-year-old girls. This is your hero. Yo, what is this? Work of young girls. I mean, it's like, what the fuck would I read for you? If you've got a fit sister who's 16, maybe. Muslims have the best frame on earth. And bro, you can't even hide. It's the accent, bro. He's the only guy on earth who speaks like this. You got a girl, you got a girl who's 16, yeah? You got a girl who's 16. Yo, it's wild, bro. I want a virgin wife at 16 who's going to obey me. That's yeah. what I want. You know you said it looks like I'm in a teenage girl's bedroom? Yeah. To, to some people, that would be an insult. But to me, I find that quite flattering, to be honest. You know, like, that's exactly what you're Look at all these creeps, bro. Look at all these creeps in the call, bro. In the team's call. That's exactly what I'm I'm fucking all these 15 year old, not 15, sorry, 16 year old women or 18 year old women, whatever the law is in America. 18? It's 18 usually. You're married at 16. I mean. All right. In Romania, 16. Sorry. He employed, employed or forced, we don't know, to do video chat for him and who knows what else. The girl you start with is the most important girl because the girl you start with is gonna be your Bolton bitch. They call it your Bolton bitch on the street. My first girl was so good, it was easy. She gotta get a good bitch. This is, this is the guy who Mohammed Hijab wants to introduce to the community, bro. And all these Muslim incels just lap it up. This is your hero now. This is the guy Mohammed Hijab introduced to the community, bro. Platform. You're so desperate for clout. I don't understand these Muslim influencers, bro. Like, you go to war with feminists. Feminists don't do shit, bro. It's just a difference of opinion. You'll go to war with feminists, but you'll embrace guys like this as your brother. You call him your brother. Yeah, <laughs> Mohammed Hijab. This is your brother. He called this guy his brother just about a week ago, a week ago, bro, on Twitter. I saw it. This is your brother, bro. Mohammed Hijab. You got a lot of explaining to do. I find a good one, Mike. I've got my main bitch, my bottom bitch, Vivian. I need to see Mohammed Hijab squirm for introducing this guy to the Ummah, bro. For platforming this webcam pimp, calling him your brother. I need Mohammed Hijab to squirm. You got a lot of explaining to do. So, Vivian here. Yeah, that's how it started. I met Vivian in, in Slovakia. We had a long-term relationship thing. I was living in England. I moved her to England to be with me to start doing my webcam company. So Vivian's been with me six years. He's a webcam pimp. He's been pimp. with Vivian for six years, right? Is Vivian younger? Vivian's like 21. Vivian's 21. And at this point, he's had her, he's been a girlfriend for six years. So <laughs> Vivian here. That means that they met when she was 15 years old. There's a video from 10 years ago that showed me in a sexual act with one of my ex-girlfriends. You message one other guy again, whether we're together or not again. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Say it then. Say I understand. Say it like you Say it again. Say I understand. I don't mention webcam. Until after I've had sex with the girl, the bottom bitch, the new girl, you go out for a nice dinner. Your bottom bitch is the one who does the selling. You don't do the selling. The girl has to hear it from a girl. And this is where your bottom bitch has to be trained. That's why I said it's so important to have a good first girl. Yes, the woman he is. He's snitching on himself, bro. He's snitching on himself. We don't need to do shit, bro. Being up, he was nothing but a sex boy. Consensual. It means that they met when she was 15 years old. When I bring on new girls, I usually pair them with Vivian. Because Vivian's younger. Show one how pretty you are. Show one how pretty you are. Look at the camera. Show one how pretty you are. Show the camera your tattoo. What does it say? 2024, hey, bro. You are my whore. This After not I the video. I started and realized that the only Instagram. way I can get girls to work for me is to f first. I became militant. It became militant. my job to f girls. I was, I was f ruthless. 
I'll be on every day I send 20 Instagrams. Imagine from the second you're 15, 16 in your hall, you have some of the most successful rich men in the world blowing up your Instagram. I was contacted by Andrew Tate when I was just 16. I had just made my Instagram account. There are laws to prevent them from doing it. Yeah. That's how much of, yeah. <laughs> and they still try. That's how you recruit girls. Do not recruit girls any other way. Holy, a brilliant video. Brilliant video. There's also videos of Kristen, Kristen Tate, whatever his name is, talking about underage minors. Okay. And here's the thing though. Like, yeah, we're just not going to watch that. You can watch it yourself. Uh, follow these people, Crayon Murders or whatever. Uh, Milky Bar TV, Woke Lefty, best username ever. Here's the thing though. People are saying, you know, this happened because right after he, he said a Jewish, Jewish people were the matrix or something, right? And people were, you know, people were saying, yeah, that's why he got caught. No, that's not why he got caught. I mean, that's, I'm not saying, you know, they didn't get him. They got him, but that's not why he got caught. Okay. Maybe it is why, but I'll explain it to you. This is how the world works. Let me explain to you how the world works. Okay. These Zios, they have a, a whole database. You know about the island, right? This is not even like some kind of conspiracy theory. It's out in the open. It's out on news, bro. You know about the island, right? They've got a whole database. And as long as you don't piss them off, if you're like a big personality with millions and millions of followers, as long as you don't piss them off, they're not going to dig into the database. You see how PDFs can get away. Like how many years Dr. Disrespect got kicked off Twitch? Like what, five years ago? How many years he got away with it? Nobody knew what happened because he never pissed off the Zios. A lot of PDF files just get away with it, especially if you're white and you don't piss off the Zios, the people who are in charge, okay? That's how it works. They have, we all know Andrew Tate is a PDF file. We all know this. He's, he snitches on himself every single day. I want 16 year old girl, 16 year old girl, 16 year old girl. He snitches on himself, bro. I'm a, I'm a pimp, bro. I'm a webcam. I don't mention webcam until, until, I don't watch a webcam until, until I, yo, he snitches on himself every single day, bro. But he's gonna get away with it. Even when he got caught like a, maybe a year ago, I don't know. As long as you don't piss off the Zios, you can even support Palestine. It don't matter, but the moment he came at, the moment he came at Jewish people, he got caught. It's not, you know, it's not a surprise. That's how it works. It's not like he didn't do nothing wrong. He did. I mean, like I said, he snitches on himself every single day. It's just that whether they care enough to punish him for it. Yeah, so bro, if, you, if you're an Andrew Tate supporter, if you still think this man is innocent, I'm done with you. Nobody can help you but yourself. Okay, your brain rot is so severe. It's, it's terminal, bro. Your brain rot is terminal. Okay, I don't know. No, no one can help you but yourself. Okay? Yeah. Okay. It, there's nothing else we can do. The man snitches on himself every single day. He's nothing but a webcam pimp. But I'm just pissed off. I'm coming for these Muslim influencers, bro. Let's do this live, bro. What's his name? Oh, man. What's his name? Hijab, this your brother? I'm doing this live, bro. This your brother, Muhammad Hijab? Because I remember, I saw it live. People like Muhammad Hijab and Ali Dawah, bro, platform this webcam pimp to the whole community. This, you know, you know, millions, of, uh, not millions, I guess, thousands of people embrace Islam every day. You don't platform them. But this guy, you platform him. You know why? Because you're hungry for clout. You want that incel money. You want that far right money. So you platform him. It's not even that deep because he's famous. Famous for wrong, for famous for all the wrong things. Mind you, what, what is it? What is this? This is the thing I'm most pissed off about. That these, you know, brothers, Muhammad Hijab and Ali Dawa, platform him to the community. They brought him to the Ummah. They're trying to normalize this, bro. Bro will go to war with feminists who don't really do anything. They're just fighting for their rights. Feminists don't do anything, bro. They'll go to war with feminists, but embrace an actual pimp, bro. This is how corrupted these, you know, these Muslim influencers are. This is how corrupted they are, bro. They have no logic, okay? 
I don't know what goes on in that brain rot of theirs. They've got brain rot, bro. These Muslim influences, bro. Okay, Muhammad Hijab has a lot explaining to do. Forget the tater tots, okay? They are so far gone. You know, if you're still down with this, this Tate movement, I don't know what to say. There's a lot of people that has already abandoned this Tate movement, okay? Back then, it was a hip, it was a whole hypnosis, bro. Every man I know were like, I don't know, in love with this guy, bro. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Don't you have like your own principles? Don't you have your own principles to stand on? That when you see, you know, a pimp, a webcam pimp like this appear on your screens, that immediately a red flag goes off in your brain. Men need to develop that. When I saw this guy's videos on TikTok, like a years ago, I already know what it is, okay? I already know. And I blocked that ish, bro. But it kept coming back. It kept coming back. This guy needs to be jailed for life, bro. Holy F. I don't know what else to say. This is good news. This is good news for the culture. Okay? All right, that's all for now. Peace. Yup, 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 yup.